Hello reformers and welcome to a special feature of Starwood Rogue Augmented. Yeah, this DLC has just been released for Starwood Rogue and if you don't know what Starwood Rogue is, it's been developed by Arkan Games and I gotta say that Arkan is one of my favorite developers of all time and I know I know what you're gonna say they make some really weird mashup of genres and all kinds of things but I really got to know them through AI war and if you don't know what AI war is I highly recommend checking it out on Steam or where, wherever actually and uh, yeah just marveling at it because it is Excellent, absolutely excellent. And then they went on to make a bunch of other things. I'm not going to go into that right now, but you know, just check them out. Anyway, point is, this is Starwood Rogue. It's on sale right now for 75% off. There's less than 24 hours remaining on the sale. And if you click on the link in the description, you can go there. And well, basically, Arkan has been in some problems, and well, it's it's kind of nice to help them out a little bit if I can, and if some of you actually like games like this. Now this is a roguelike shmup and that is obviously bullet hell, very much bullet hell-esque and let's get, let's just, let's just start so you can actually see what the game is all about. Now there are a variety of different mechs to choose from and they've added in the augmented DLC, as far as I'm aware, they've added Paladin, Warhog and Zephyr. And these all have different abilities. As you can see, they have a special, they have a secondary, they have different uh, attacks and range and all kinds of different missiles and energy and all that sort of thing. And then there are five different difficulty levels as well. And if you know Arkan, then you'll know that their games are not exactly easy to understand at the best of times. And they're very difficult at times as well. AI War is a prime example of that. So I think we're going to probably go with Warhog here because this is armed with a shotgun and a deployable battle sentry which sounds good. It's big and slow but all damage taken is reduced by one. So let's do it. You can also randomize if you so desire. You can also play in all these modes as well if you if you want to have everything unlocked and if you want to play in developer mode. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, let's start the run. All right, and now you'll hear the very, very nice soundtrack that Starward Rogue comes along with, and that is certainly something that you have to take into account with Arkham Games and their games in general, because they always have fantastic soundtracks. So let us go in here and see what we can do. This is obviously a shmup. I'm going to try and get this key. Ah, oh, okay, wait, I've got to go through here. There we go. Okay, I'm going to just try and avoid getting murdered. I am actually taking damage from these spikes on the floor, which is not very good. Can I... Oh no, I can't go by? Are you serious? Okay, I'm taking way too much damage right here. Oh, it seems like I won't be able to get the key. Yes, yes. If, if you if you know if you know anything about me, then you'll know that I'm not exactly great at these kinds of games. So yeah, if I'm gonna die here, literally just from that, then I'm gonna be very disappointed. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so yeah, here comes the bullet hell element, and I can't destroy this because that is a sentry. So let's be a bit careful here. I'm gonna be just trying to get through as best I can. I'm gonna try and shoot that thing and get it out the way. I need some HP, to be honest. Very badly need some HP. I am playing on normal, by the way, which in Arkan Games terminology equals very difficult. Ah, uh, yes. I think I, I think I might as well just die and restart, to be honest. Because, let's face it, that was that was very tricky. That was very, very tricky indeed. Okay, let's, let's start a new run. Let's start a new run. That is obviously the beauty of these kinds of games anyway. So let's just see what I can do here. Okay, there's nothing to destroy around here. Ah, I can teleport. Oh, very nice. Okay, now we've got... Ah, this is... There we go, there we go. We're getting into much more of the meat of the game now. Instead of me having to run a gauntlet and potentially die many times over, this is much, 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 much better. I, I like being able to shoot the opponent rather than trying to avoid things. Let's just destroy this, pick up some credits. We're going to need as much money as we can get because there are merchants in this game. You can pick up some very, very powerful items 
And in a previous run that I had, I had a backwards firing missile launcher, which was very, very powerful indeed. Very fun to see that. And I avoided everything. Very nice. Oh my. Well, this is not going to go well for me, is it? Or well, maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe I'm able to do some good work here. I'm going to use one of my sentries. Thank you very much. Let's try and see if we can take out... Yeah, there we go. We took him down. Now, if you take out a specific enemy in a obstacle level uh, kind of thing. Uh, well, I, I should say room, because technically it is a room. And if you take out one of them, then you're much more likely to be able to get rid of the problems. Oh, and this is a boss. I went into the boss room already. Well, this is not going to go well, is it? Is it going to go well? Well, let's see. It's a, it's a, it is on normal. It is on normal, so we might have some difficulties here. Maybe. Okay. Oh, oh, second phase. Oh, nice. He's all. Is he almost dead already? Oh, that's pretty good. I think the shotgun is actually a very nice weapon. Nice. Okay, so we leveled up, and we actually did. <laughs> we already did the boss, which is not really what you're meant to do, but okay, we did it anyway. All right. So every shot counts. Reduces fire rate by ten percent, but boosts damage by 20%. Oh, very nice. That's nice. I like it. All right, so we can also choose a perk. So let's take a look at our perks here. 20% chance to receive double credits from drops, 50% chance to receive double health shots from pickups, and receive double the amount from experience point pickups. I'm going to take extra health. I think that's going to be more useful than anything else. And now, where, where should we go? Well, we can either go backwards... Or we can go to the next level. Let's go to the next level. The next floor. I mean, I could have technically explored a little bit. And, you know, seen what's going on there. Collect all health shards before leaving this floor for a bonus. This opportunity will disappear if you leave the room. Right. Okay. Where, where are they? Before leaving this floor. Ah, oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm just going to have to try and find them all I suppose and you can also pick up different weapons as well so for example I have a battle sentry deployer right now which is able to give me you know those little guys that shoot the enemies or I could use an RPG which is obviously a grenade launcher with serious power and it does have much more attack but personally I prefer the battle sentries yeah I'm gonna try and I, I've got to try and pick up every single health credit or health shard possible to be able to unlock that puzzle master thing to gain 25 credits, three key cards because you do need some key cards sometimes to be able to unlock certain areas okay I'm gonna go through here oh yeah so yeah apart from there being enemies there are also obstacles that you are you know that you're gonna need to be very wary about. Uh, like this. Oh, I went a bit too fast. Okay, wait a minute. What's going on here? What it what is going on here? Oh, okay, I was just I was a bit worried there for a second, okay. Did I did I turn off the traps? It seems like I may have turned off the traps. Oh fantastic. Okay, so there you go. I actually did turn off the traps, amazingly. And, uh, yeah, now that means that I might be able to... Wait a minute, if I go on here, does it turn it back on? No, it doesn't seem to. Oh, well, that's nice. Okay, so there is another door somewhere. If I go this way... Hmm. There we go. Nice. So it locked me in, basically. It locked me into that room. Fantastic. Oh, nice. Okay, so let me use our sentry gun here. Sentry seems to be very, very powerful. Uh, yes, acid paths and ice paths as well. No doubt it's going to deal damage to me if I actually step on it, so thankfully I didn't have to. Oh, I, I am full on health. I am absolutely full on health. So, that is good. It's absolutely fine with me. Oh, 
<laughs> now I'm not full on health. Okay, I need to be very careful here. I need to just run and I'm gonna pick up a credit, I guess. Oh, and the next boss. Okay, so yeah, you can come across the bosses pretty quickly. But thankfully, I'm pretty well prepared here, I think. I think I'm, I should be fine as long as I'm able to... Oh, yes. As long as I'm able to dodge. Yes, let me be able to dodge things. Mm, okay. Wow. Right. Well, things are not going too badly. <laughs> but if you are a fan of bullet hells and roguelikes, then this is definitely a game that you don't want to miss. And there you go. I, oh, oh, okay. It's not dead. It is not dead. There's a bunch of them. There's a bunch of them. Okay. Well, this is interesting. Okay, apparently I have to walk around in this motion here. I'm going to use another sentry. Okay. Oh, I'm a bit worried. I am a bit worried. I still have a lot of HP, so I should be fine, technically. But this is... Uh, it, uh, 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 oh, yeah, that was not good. This is not good. Ooh, that was close. Okay, that was really, really close. Okay, so I just gained a Crip... A, cr a Crip? No, a Cryptronic, I was going to say. A Cryotronic module adds extra ice damage and a chance of causing a slow debuff to main gunshots. Also provides 50% resistance to ice damage. Nice. That's a very nice item indeed. All right, so we can increase our maximum energy by 25 we can increase our global base damage, or we can increase our maximum missiles. I think I'm just going to increase our damage by 10%. That sounds good to me. And now we have a little bit of a, a little graphic on us as well, thanks to picking up that snowflake. That's pretty cool. All right, so I'm just going to go on to the next floor here. Just because this is a special feature, I'm not going to take the game too seriously because I just want to show you as much of it as possible. Make it to the next floor without using any consumables for a bonus. Hmm... Okay, why not? Let's try it. Alright, oh dear. Okay, so what's going on here? I'm gonna try and... Here we go. Oh. Uh, yeah, this guy's annoying. Very annoying indeed. That's a teleporter. Teleport me somewhere. And now I need to be very careful. Okay, another sentry gun should help me out right here. I haven't taken any damage so far, so that's decent enough. I mean, every enemy has a different way of firing as well, so you need to be very careful about that. Because you never know what you could come up against. I'm just very lucky that I got that health right there. Hmm. Is there any way that I can actually get over there? I might need to teleport here. Use this teleport to tele teleport over. Yes, there we go. There we go. There's level four as well. All right, so all floors revealed. Uh, gain five keys. Missile ammo is fully revealed. Oh, that's pretty good. I'm going to gain five keys just in case. And we get some credits from that as well. Okay, so that was a pretty big room. Hopefully we won't have to fight another one of those anytime soon, because they're, they're, they're pretty tricky. There is an enemy down here, I think, or an item? What is this? Incinerator probe spawns a stationary fiery sentry. That sounds good to me. Let's take it. Let's take it. There we go. Nice. All right, so let's go up here now. Yeah, I'm, I'm unsure how to get these. I think I probably need to use my missiles, but I have no missiles left. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to get these. There are certain mechs as well that specialize in using missiles. So, if you are a big fan of long-range combat or anything like that, you know, big explosions and everything, then you certainly want to go with one of those. But, obviously, I'm using a shotgun style now. I only have one HP now oh, there you go. I have a little bit more now. 3 HP. Hmm, this is locked right now. I need to defeat the last enemy. There we go. I have 5 keys, 33 credits. I'm actually thinking that I might want to try and find a... Oh dear. 2 HP remaining. 
two HP. Come on now, we can do this. Oh, I got hit by a stray bullet. Ah, that was that was painful. But we made it to three of five. If you make it to, I, I think it, it, I think if you make it to floor five, then you unlock additional runs, which are basically increased runs. So if you complete the five, then you get seven. And I don't know whether it goes on from there, but you can see here that I actually missed a bunch of secret rooms, and I explored eighteen. Uh, you know, that's only thirty-one percent. And I had a very awful accuracy, but that is to be expected, I suppose. All right, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go and we're going to choose a different mech. All right, so of the mechs that we currently have available right here, I'm going to try and pick the newer ones. So we have here, designed for speed, the Zephyr starts each floor with a boost to damage, fire rate, movement speed, and energy capacity. This boost diminishes every minute that goes by, lasting five minutes in total. So if you're, if you're one for speed, then that's certainly one to go for. A specialist in melee combat, oh wow, armed with the phantom blade, power shield, and holy missile launcher, starts each run with a healing consumable, but must tithe 10% of its credits upon entering a new floor. That sounds really fun, actually. I don't think they've ever done a melee one before. Oh wow, look at that. All perks are completely randomized if you choose this one, because it has an experimental learning AI attached to it. Uh, that's pretty cool. There's there's a whole bunch here that you can pick. Difficult to learn to use, but rewarding when you do. A weaker main attack means that you have to rely more on your little robot beam cannon buddy and your special weapon. The spine ballista is a charge shot type weapon, which can also be a bit tricky to use at first. And lastly, Deep Blue has enhanced energy processing, which increases all maximum energy changes by 50%. Both increases and decreases. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so we're going to... Yes, for players with limited experience in shmups and action roguelikes, you have twice as much starting health. Well, that's pretty good. But I think we're just going to go for normal. Let's do it. All right, now this is, this is a melee one, so I'm not... Ah, okay, okay, okay. So that's what we can do with that. So technically it's not really melee, but it kind of is. And it has shields, by the way. It has shields. That's new. There we go. And we can actually shoot beyond barriers now as well a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try and... Oh, that's a big enemy right there. Okay. Hmm, it is actually a little bit melee. This is the first time I've played this particular mech, so do forgive my noviceness. Yes. There we go, that's nice. Okay, let's port over here, and that's gonna give me something. Three credits, that's that's pretty good. Okay, so what are we having here? Calling your divine power to fully heal your mech also provides a few seconds of in invincibility. That's what I currently have equipped. We'll show the oh, we'll show the location of the secret room. Let me just pick that up a second. Is that showing the location right now? I think maybe it did. I don't know. But let's just port back down here. Is there anything here? Oh, yeah. Give me those credits. Thank you. All right. Well, we're done here. Let me just go over in. Oh, that is not what I meant to do. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes. Great. Good work. Oh, well, at least I picked up a couple of missiles to replace those. Yeah, it does actually have a close-range melee attack, and also a, a bit of a ranged attack, just in case you are kind of stuck and you need to do some ranged damage. What is this? Oh, that's just a, just a turret. Okay, well, that's fine. I wonder whether we're going to get the boss. Ah, the boss is next. Yeah, I'm actually all for pretty pretty much reading the maps, by the way. So that's probably the reason why we ran into the boss so early on last time. Anyway, I'm going to go into the boss again, just so you can see another one. Okay. Right. This is, this is not going to work out unless I get really close. Okay. 
Okay. I'm actually unsure what I was doing there for a second because what is this? What is this thing that I have here? It's like an energy blade. That's pretty cool. All right, so this increases critical chance by 20%. I only have one HP, so you definitely need to be a bit more careful when you're playing with this particular mech in comparison to the last one that I showed you. And I guess we should just go to the next floor and hope that there's a way that we, without taking damage in any way, yes, that's probably not going to happen. Increases maximum missile capacity. That's pretty good. I'm gonna die very, very early. I'm gonna die. I am critically hitting actually a huge amount, though. I haven't gotten hit yet, which I'm kind of surprised about. Wow. That was impressive, if I do say so myself. All right, so receive double healing. Yes, thank you very much. I will certainly take that. There we go, four HP, oh nice. Okay, so I guess you've just gotta play this a little bit quicker. But obviously me doing that is going to result in some, well, probably in quite a lot of damage taken. Yeah, like that, yes, like that. Like that, for example. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, uh, well, that is the nature of roguelikes, I suppose. And if you would like to check this game out, the link is in the description. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.